Hey, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I am going to be um, showcasing a product review and a recipe from the Philippines that's an all-time favorite and it's called Pinak Bit. And that is spelled P-I-N-A-K B-E-T. So that basically translates to meat and vegetable stew. So the product that I'm going to review, be reviewing today is what um, Good Cook calls meal prep. So we'll talk more about it later, but um, Filipinos have been prepping meals for years and years and years, but there was never an official name or an official container. So let's get started on the recipe. So for Panak Bet, one pound pork belly. So this is what it is, about one pound of pork belly. Three Chinese eggplant. So these are the eggplant, long ones, dark purple, definitely in the Asian store. One bunch okra. Okay, so this is an all-time favorite vegetable of mine, okra, as you can see. One bunch green beans. So you could use these green beans or you could use Chinese green beans, they both work well. Okay, one kabocha squash. So here I have it already cooked and chopped in half, but this is what it looks like. And here is the other half. And these are very, very healthy veggies. Um, the way to cook it is wrap it in saran wrap and put a little paper towel underneath and cook this medium-sized one for about seven minutes in the microwave, okay? Um, these are practically inedible unless they're cooked, so, and they are very, very hard, very tough if you don't cook it first. It's actually a diversion to eat because it takes so much work to try to peel it, but um, cooking in the microwave for seven minutes with the saran wrap over the top and a paper towel underneath is definitely the way to go for them. Okay, so optional vegetable is bitter melon. Filipinos have been eating this for years and it packs so much health benefits. And um, let's see what else we have here. Okay, so one fourth cup canola oil. All right. Four teaspoons garlic. All right. One onion. Okay, this is already sliced. Three teaspoons salt. Okay, so for this panak but recipe, it's a little bit of a change from the traditional recipe because I am not going to be putting any fish sauce. I'm not going to be putting any oyster sauce or any um, shrimp sauce. Um, so those are omitted, but in lieu of those, I'm putting three teaspoons of salt. So um, the um, fish sauce I could put on after if I don't feel that it's salty enough um, but those things do not go in my stews and the shrimp paste does not go in my stew either so I can do those after and I can show you a sample of a Filipino style shrimp paste but um, let's get started all right so this is my handy dandy 14 inch skillet that I love so much and I have two of them Turn it on. Okay. So I'm going to do one fourth cup oil. You need a lot for this big skillet, okay? So one fourth cup. Four teaspoons garlic. One onion. All right. You can go ahead and put in the salt now. You want just get it over with one, two, three. Sorry, so much salt, but um, I like my stuff really salty and strong. But you'll find when you offset it with rice, that's gonna be okay. You can put less salt and then add more later. But for this amount of veggies, this amount that fits in here, and the kabocha squash, and the meat, 
needs this particular one needs three teaspoons of salt um, all right so it's not starting to cook okay i'm gonna push it to the side to make room for the other vegetables so we're just gonna battle it on and just put everything in okay i'm gonna kind of compartmentalize them okra green beans Sorry, the eggplant into it. You see me cut it really quick here. And so that each one has kind of their own area where it's going to cook until I can get it all to come together. And yes, using scissors does save a lot of time. Okay, we've got it cooking there. And I would say once you have these ingredients in, you're probably looking at about 15 minutes to 20 minutes of sauteing. So I'm just going to kind of put these to the side here. So this pork, I have to tell you about this pork. It's so delicious. Filipinos love pork in their stews. It has a lot of fatty cut of meat. I wouldn't say it's the healthiest thing, but um, in my opinion, it's the best piece of cut of protein for this dish. I don't really want shrimp in it. I don't want chicken in it or beef. So this is what I prefer to put in my panak butt. So I'm gonna quickly cut it for you to see. Some gloves here and I'm gonna make a space for the pork strips right here and you definitely want them cut up this adds a lot of flavor to the stew you won't be Sorry for doing this. This is one pound. So I have tried doing this with shrimp. It, it doesn't give the best flavor. So if I'm gonna eat this much vegetables in my meals, I'm going to add the protein of choice, okay? And that for me is this. So it's already simmering, you can hear it. Kind of a challenge to cut, but um, I'm getting through it. Okay, so I was uh, I was gonna talk about the product review for this meal prep container, and um, I went ahead and looked it up on the internet, and um, it's just right here. This is the one I have. 
good cook meal prep. Okay, it says it's two compartments, perfect for portion controlled main meal and a side dish. It's in both measurements of one cup and two cups for convenience and accuracy. It's microwavable, freezer and dishwasher safe, BPA free, 10 sets for work or school, lunches for two or more meals for one, enough for two meals a day or one power lunch each for a working couple. So a lot of benefits. So about the main thing about this meal prep I think is important is saving money. I know when I have to go to work and I'm desperate for a lunch that is on the healthier side, I probably end up spending with the drink about $13. And of course, that's just one meal, but I'm estimating and we'll see. I think I could probably get 10 meals out of this. All right. So while that's cooking, I want to show you on the side here a little bit about the kabocha squash. So you can see that this was cooked about seven minutes and I'm going to gut it out right here. And this is what it looks like. You could eat it straight out of the squash if you want, but um, we are going to be putting it in our dish. So I'm going to be peeling it and you see how easy that was to cut? And I'll show you a way how to peel it. So I actually peel it from the back. And that seems to take, although the, the peeling is edible, I really don't want to eat it. So I'm just going to peel it in the back here. It's a little bit of a challenge. Okay, I'll peel another one for you to see. And the stir fry is coming along well. Here's another one. So you keep doing that until you have peeled most of your squash. And this is pretty soft. This can actually go in at the end of your recipe. And there it is, kabocha squash. Pack so much health benefits, you won't be sorry. Okay, let's give this a stir. Okay. Smells so good already. So I think I'm still gonna try to keep them separated. The onions are getting translucent, the garlic is um, giving off a good smell. And the pork is coming along well and cooking okay. Very challenging to have like three or four different types of vegetables because they have all their own cooking time. But I think um, this stew, this vegetable stew, each vegetable is kind of equal in cooking time. So which makes it good um, when it's done. Except for the kabocha squash and the optional bitter melon for the bitter melon lover. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get that cooking. And I have a surprise for you. I know these videos have to be a little bit on the shorter side. So here I have, and I'm gonna put it into view, an already done connect book. So I'm just gonna turn it on. And that is 15 minutes into simmering here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring into view what it looks like after about 15 minutes of cooking. So there's the okra, it's not overdone. There is the uh, eggplant, not overdone. Here are some of the okra just by itself. Look at how green that is. I love greens. I eat greens every day. 
I drink green juice, I drink green tea, everything that I eat is green. But I do have a bad sweet tooth, but I offset it with all this bitter stuff. And I'm going to be adding the kabocha squash to this already prepared, not this. So it gives it a lot of color. Complete the recipe. There is one more optional piece of vegetable that I talked about earlier, but that is optional. And I like to cook it separate, that's for sure. I don't cook it within the stew, and that is the bitter melon, because I don't want everything actually bitter. I just want a bite of bitterness here and there. So this is the bitter melon as optional and I'm going to go ahead and put it here on the side and I am 16 minutes into this video so I am going to try to hurry up to try to keep it under 20 minutes okay double double down in here <laughs> okay so what we're gonna what I'm gonna do is put this one to the side for now so I could get through the video and show you the meal prep. So this is almost done. This, this will probably be done in about 10 minutes. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to finish cooking this after the video is done. So here we go, we got our bitter melon cooking there, and I am going to show you how the good cook meal prep containers fall into place with this Filipino style meal prep. So, in the containers, there's one of them that come, so I showed you earlier that they have compartment, they're compartmentalized. One cup and two cups. And these already have been cooked. So I feel comfortable putting it in the meal prep containers. And let's see how many we can get out of here. nice because you got your veggies, you got your protein, you got everything you need to complete your meal, except for rice. <laughs> if you want rice, you could put rice in your compartment, um, which has one cup, or you can forgo the rice and move on to something that has more nutrients. So that is your side. This is a main meal. And it's looking good. I think this portion is going to fill five. And the portion that I have that I started on is going to fill another five. So I'm going to have ten meals. All right. We are going to add the bigger melon later. So I can show you this meal prep. So here you go, one, two, three, four, five meal preps, and I have five, five things for the one cup containers. I have two mozzarella sticks for more protein, I have uh, my famous cashew, white chocolate cashew clusters for more protein, but a little bit for the sweet tooth. I have an apple for another one. I have 
a kiwi for another one, and I have a boiled egg for another one. So here you go. So Filipinos again have been doing meal prep for a long time, but uh, now we have a container for it. So this is Filipino style meal prep for Panak bread. Thank you for listening. Take care.